All right, so I've already had two people in the chat make a joke or just being surprised that I'm using Kami, and I'm, I'm, I'm kind of confused by that. Pretty sure most people know that I'm, I've been a Kami fan forever. I have been a Kami loyalist forever. That's the situation here. <laughs> uh, I have all these stages that I don't own. It makes me sad. Oh, God. All right. I'm going to stop now. All right. See the side joke now. Yep. Oh, I guess Console Gamer Archive actually legitimately did not know, huh? I mean, uh, I've been playing Cammy since Super Turbo, mostly because she's um, low tier. Well, she was low tier. Since then, obviously, she's become one of the best characters in the game in Street Fighter V. So, you know, a uh, very different situation here. But, uh, who do I play in CVS2? That's a weird question because it's changed so much over time. I started with, um, hang on a second. Yeah, that's right. I started with, it was like a Cami Morgan, Chun Li, C Groove team. And then I eventually switched, like, all around the place. And then eventually I just kind of settled on a, on a weird, like, when I was playing, uh, the, the most recent team I was using was like Maki, Yuri, Zangi for something crazy like that. So uh, the in-game ads for Street Fighter V were kind of whack. So I'm kind of glad that they they seem to not be doing much with them anymore. But you know, we'll see. But in any case, anyhow, if anybody is new to the Learn to Fight series here, this is the series of streams that I've been doing where I play ranked online and I talk about my mindset and I talk about how I approach matches, how I evaluate my opponents, how I try to take advantage of them. And you know, there are times like last week I ended up finding a Ryu player who just literally out footsied me and I, and I didn't have an answer for him. So you know, even in those kind of situations, I'll talk about those kind of things. But what's interesting about it is this way you get a chance to see how your mind is supposed to kind of process opponents while you're playing the match. Like I'll just talk about whether they quick rise or back roll or if they're a button masher, if they're defensive or if you know they're susceptible to shimmy and how the progression of a story is told in Street Fighter V. That is one of the most important things is to understand how the progression of a story is told as you play a match. And that's kind of the thing that I'm trying to explain right here. Um, last week I mentioned that the one thing I wanted to really learn how to do was get better at with punishing, which was uh, just taking advantage of the option select that if a button's gonna hit you, it's gonna hit you and you're gonna block it. But if not, then at least hit a button at the timing of right after you block. So let's say Yurian does a knee and you're not sure if the knee is gonna hit you or not. Just hit heavy punch in the timing that if the, like, uh, ha like uh, just half a second after the knee hits you and you would block it. Because if the knee doesn't hit you, then you'll come out with fierce and be able to whiff punish. I get scared by moves. This happens to me in Tekken all the time where I see moves whiff in front of my face and I'm like, oh, it I didn't block it. Now let me try to whiff punish and by then it's too late. However, it's hard to practice those things sometimes when you're playing you know, uh, online because some people aren't trying to play super footsies with you and everything like that, so it's hard to get used to that, etc., etc. I didn't really get a chance to implement it the last session that I played. I'm going to try it this time. We'll see if that actually happens or not. But let's go ahead and turn this on here. Uh, let's do four to five. And here we go. Well, that's the interesting thing, Boats and Joes, is that in Super Turbo, uh, when I played... In Super Turbo, I played Cammy because she was low tier, but then also she was kind of a grappler too because the hooligan was actually like an SPD. The hooligan was actually a really decent SPD 
because that it was basically the same thing as being able to walk up and SPD people that you would stand here and then all of a sudden hooligan people. And that kind of, oops, I forgot to turn on request. I forgot to turn on the request so I can actually see the bars connected because uh, we'll see in any case. But let's go ahead and get started here in the first match. Who am I going to be going up against? What character am I going to go up against? Um, the patches on the characters were kind of gross. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm going up against a Ryu. Oh, I have a potential to go up against naked Ryu if he inputs the code. But Ryu is always a fun character to fight against, and always a fun character to really kind of get an idea of how you're supposed to play against somebody. So I always say against Ryu, I backdash right away because I want to see if I can get the Ryu into a fireball game or if he's going to chase me down so, so I can kind of get an understanding of whether the, the Ryu player is aggressive or defensive. And again, when you fight against a player, they're always going to be different. So you want to evaluate them separately. So the Ryu, try to come forward a little bit. Yeah, okay, now, uh, yeah, he's kind of playing this middle game here. So that's something to be aware of. Okay, he jumped at me here. See, right here, now he's being a little aggressive. So the Ryu wants to be aggressive. That's punishable. Okay, back roll. He back rolled, so keep that in mind. And he's in the corner now. I knew he was going to jump, but I didn't do anything about it. Jesus. See if he jumps at me again. No, he's just throwing fireballs here. He's gonna dash forward. So, oh no, he he jumped at me. I thought he was gonna dash forward and back roll again. And I gotta stop doing that. I gotta stop doing the the the, the bad hat. Oh my God, double sweep. So he's been blocking my strong, strong. So he blocked strong, strong, blocked strong, strong. So that time I did strong in the throw. So because he was blocking my medium punch, medium punch, medium, medium punch, I decided to try to throw in the throw there. Okay, that was, he's probably gonna jump at me at some point because that's what he likes to do. Oh, okay, okay, never mind. Well, I'm having a bad time reading his jumps. Very defensive, you can see here. So I'm gonna go for throws instead. Let's do throw loop. Let's do one more throw. I did one more throw, I just messed up. But as you can see, I'm trying to bait him into this throw loop pattern here because I want him to tech throw. I want him to tech throw because then I can open him up for the shimmy. Oh, he didn't do it. He didn't do it. And now it's getting a little laggy here, but okay. Finally, I had the uppercut on the jump. Like I said, I've been saying that I, I suspected he was going to jump a lot, but he would jump at timings that I just wasn't ready for. That time, I was finally ready for it that time. So, there you go. Fireballs aren't a huge problem, but if the Ryu player plays it right, it can be annoying. Ah, oh, yes, I'm ultra gold. Last time, I just got to the verge of ultra gold, and I gave up because I knew I was going to drop it, and I would never keep playing it, so... No, I, I'm ultra gold now. Woo! Okay. Oh, that was very fortunate. Back roll again. Yeah, throw. Let's try to throw again. Okay, he's hitting buttons now. So that means I've gotten him hitting buttons now, which means that I can probably... Oh, shit. I forgot about parry. Okay, now he's trying to throw a lot because he thinks throws are cheap, and he wants to punish me for throwing... Whoops, I hit the button too early, so I ended up getting uh, getting myself hit off of his jump, is what happened, so. A lot of times people think after that dive kick that you're so negative that they can hit buttons, but that dive kick, after you block that, you're forced into a Street Fighter V RPS situation where you have to guess if Cam is going to hit a button or throw. So that's just one of those things that you got to deal with. 
Oops. Okay. He's neutral jumping. There we go. That's the right timing. Okay. Now he's going to hit a button. Oops. Oh, no. He didn't. Ow. Okay. He didn't quick rise, which kind of threw me off, actually. Let's see if he jumps at me again. I'm standing in his jump distance to see if he'll jump at me. But he hasn't yet, so that's actually not bad on his part, so... Whoa! Crouch under me. Ow. Okay, that was just a mistake on his part. He shouldn't have swept. But he, th this player here has the habit of sweeping in panic situations, which is a common button to hit in panic situations for Ryu because it's so fast and it just catches a lot of people off guard. But if you're trying to learn Street Fighter V, you gotta learn right away that sweeps are a very bad idea. So despite the fact that Ryu's sweep is so fast, you should try not to do it too often. So, and yes, there is also the Chenzor Dynasty Discord, which you can join, uh, where we have some very friendly people willing to talk fighting games with you, set up, um, set up, what do you call them? Um, uh, like lobbies and everything like that. So we've got some, uh, we've got some good people in the Chen Dynasty Discord. Oops, I forgot to change it to request. So yeah, uh, just to go back to what Console Gamer Archive said earlier, Fireballs can be a problem for Cami. They can definitely be a problem for Cami, but you just have to uh, be patient against them. And Cami's foot speed and the fact that she can jump dive kick helps a lot. Okay, Laura, character that I've been trying really hard to learn how to fight. So basically the whole concept of her is if she hits you with a command throw, unless she goes up with the elbow again, there's no reason to try to, uh, if you ever see her move forward, you gotta stop her from uh, moving forward. So dash up is not real, EX command throw is not real, so stop her. But if she does meaty jab elbow, then she can hit you and combo off of that. So you have to see if the lore is willing to do that or not. And then outside of that, um, you know, if you block a crouching medium kick and she throws a fireball, just get the hell away from there. Or if she tries to hit you with standing, meaning oh, it's, it's crouching strong, she pushes herself outside of her range. So you don't want to have to necessarily deal with the fireball, but for Cami, sweep is the way you punish that fireball. So yeah, she's negative after that back roller. Out of there. Okay, her cross up is better than I think it is. Oh boy, here we go. So she forward down. Oops, I forgot to quick rise. Wow, buttons on wake up. Oh, I had the uppercut. I had the uppercut. Wow, okay. Ooh. I wonder, oh, okay. That was not what I was expecting at all. Whoa, that was far? Holy crap! So for Cammy, the reason why I throw so much is because you really have to... I did not mean to do that at all! Whoa, she just mistimed that, otherwise I would have been dead. Oh my god, she just dashed up and threw! I did not mean the V-Skill that one time, which really put me in that bad situation. Whoop! 
Whoops. Oh, I just mistimed my button. So that's just a nice reset situation that, oh, oh. No, that's not what I did. Where's my drill? Ah, uh, I meant to go low strong, low strong drill in the super, but the drill didn't come out. So the super was just a whiff and then she mistimed her meaty, blah, 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 blah. Uh, I mean, the thing about it is right now I'm actually super tired. Like, the jet lag from Japan has been brutal and it's still, I think, affecting me right now. Because, like, I'm, I'm just, like, sleepy and tired at all, like, different times of the day. So, like I said, I have to throw a lot, otherwise, uh, you just have to throw a lot to establish that as part of the game, otherwise. No uh, anti-air. So, again, that fireball is actually pretty negative at up close range, so if, even after I block it, I try to get away like that. Boy, I'm bad with cross-up distances. She's aggressive, so I was just going to do that. Yeah, I knew she was going to come forward. I knew she was going to come forward, so I was just ready, waiting for that. Waiting for that. Okay, now she's not blocking. Ah, come on, James, really? There we go. Ah, God, dropping these very, very free combos here. Dropping some very free combos there. But you know what? Honestly, I got two of my combos mixed up. I got the, what happened was, in my brain, I was like, do I do back strong roundhouse uppercut super or do I do standing strong into standing heavy punch into uppercut super? And because I had both of the combos in my head at the same time, I mixed up the timing. I tried to do back strong back roundhouse timing with, no, I tried to do that target combo with the timing of strong fierce, right? So. Watch, I'll show you what I mean by that. So I tried to do this, but I was thinking this, and so I, I conflated the timings, and I tried to do this, and then late, like, like that. Like, I did a late timing on that, so I, I got to make, make sure I messed up. Yeah, I remember to build meter when I was at full meter, but it doesn't matter. As long as, shit, I forgot to pick apply because the stupid thing is when you set the settings and you back out, if you don't click apply, it doesn't work. So I'm still not getting the battle confirmation being asked because I forgot to choose apply. I just switched it and backed out and that doesn't work. Fuck, Abigail. This is a tough match. This is a match where as the cami player, you have to be as aggressive as possible uh, when you knock them down. Like, you're going to have a lot of trouble at first trying to fight him in the normal footsie footsie stuff. But as soon as you knock down, then that's when you got to be aggressive against him. But again, being aggressive is always based off of how they play, right? You can't just be randomly aggressive. Also, because Abigail is so tall, you know, you can get a lot of free jump-ins on him. Okay, there was a little bit of lag just now, but it's okay now. Because he's so tall, you can try to get some jump-ins on him. And see, he's so tall that if you attack early now, if he crouches, he'd be able to get under you. And then that's cool. I can't believe my throw whipped. Okay, I'm just going to get hit by this all day. Thank you. Uh-oh, I'm dead. Oh, he went for that again? Okay. 
So he likes to do run into throw. So this is just something I'm just gonna have to remember that he likes to do. All right, so. Oh my God, what the hell? God damn it. Okay, this guy walks backwards all the time. So that's, Jesus, what the hell is even happening here? What the hell is even happening all of a sudden? Is this really a thing? And the worst part about it is you can totally tell on his side, it's absolutely fine. So he has no idea that the, the lag is so bad over here. So for him, it's just, it's fine. So I, I just don't even care anymore, dude, because this is just, this is literally unplayable, dude. Literally unplayable. Now, so what David says that he does is when he runs into people like that, he actually goes to opponent profile and then like, like, isn't there a way to like ban or like set someone to not want to play this person anymore or something like that? Or isn't there like some sort of setting where you can actually do that? Press Y. Oh, here we go. Add to blacklist. Ah, okay. So this we go like this. Uh, player has an unstable connection. Add. Okay. There we go. Okay. Okay. Because that was just... I don't even know how to describe that. That was one of the worst lag that I've ever seen. Because normally the lag is just like that, but that one was literally like slideshow status. Ugh. That was not pleasant at all. Oh God, I haven't changed the setting yet. Ugh. Oh. Not to change. Oh, because the in-game sound is coming through just the microphone. That's why. It's not. It, this is not a direct feed on the in-game sound right now. I can turn the volume up to make it a little bit louder. But oh, also the the microphone isn't isn't working. Why is it not working? The microphone is, hasn't been working. All right, I'll go adjust it after this. I'll just I'll go adjust it after this. It's it's only coming through my. Act oh, there we go. Finally, it's picking up. There we go. Now against Zangief, lots of standing medium kicks, and you've got to watch out for jumps from uh, from Zangief. And you know, I, obviously, there's not a lot of Zangief. Okay, he tundra stormed. I was just about to say, not a lot of Zangief's tundra storm. Yeah, and I actually think it's a good way to kind of mess up uh, Kami players. That was interesting. Oh, he just went for SPD. Okay, that means I can frame trap him. Oh. jumping earlier on or can you not escape that with a jump because he sucks me in I'm trying to jump away and then I get caught low maybe I can't jump I just have to react with a jab or a, or something else just because those are the things that are um those are the things that um
is so far away. Why? Oh my god, it was far. I tried to jump away again. I already just said I wasn't gonna do that, and I tried it again. I fucking tried to jump away again. Why? Hey, thank you, Free Soul Moon. I wish they would do a Legacy Evo, but the the, the in-game sound is a lot louder now, right? Because the microphone seems to be working now. Ah, he doesn't want to play me anymore because I was playing like a turtle -y character. But I mean, you have to against Zangief. It's really just about trying to keep him out and making sure that you can uppercut the jumps. I actually failed pretty bad on uppercutting the jumps. Uh, he actually got a lot of jumps on me that I, that I should have been able to try to fight, but I just didn't just because of bad reaction parts from me. Oh my god, I forgot to set it again. Oh my god, I forgot to set it again. Old man brain, old man brain, old man brain. Fuck. Yeah, if, if Zangief gets in, it's hard to get out, for sure. It's very, very tough to get away from that situation. Which is why that fight isn't... I mean, some people say it's in Geef's favor. Some people say it's in Cammy's favor. I think it's a really good 5-5 um, five -five matchup, actually. Maybe even slightly Cammy advantage still. I don't think that fight is necessarily great for Geef. But the thing is, Geef, at least his footsies can really kind of mess up Cammy. Because the headbutt is really hard to get past for Cammy in a weird way. Alzheimer's, yes. Actually, just more uh, senility more than anything. Huh, I thought that was a little more negative now. I guess not, not from that range. Uh. Whoops, that was a bad reaction. I was just thinking jab already. Oh my god, you are a flash kicky guy. Okay, you're gonna throw. I'm cool with that. Okay, you're gonna throw. I'm cool with that. Oh my god! Interesting. He's gonna EX flash kick in the middle of my button presses. So that's good to know. Wow, okay. EX flash kick. I mean, EX Sonic Boom on wake up? Oh shit! To be fair, I'm not baiting him out, so there's absolutely no reason for him not to do that. I have to actually bait out the flash kick before uh, I can actually be mad about his EX flash kicks like that, so. Round one. Oh, Jesus, what the hell? That wasn't even an EX flash kick. It's 
good distancing on. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. read this guy's flash kick timing I literally can I can't read this guy's flash kick timing so you know that's just good that means I'm dead so oh my god see I cannot read this guy's flash kick timing oh Okay. <laughs> Change setting. Thank you, Dr. J. Johnson. Interesting uh, approach there from this Guile player. Yeah, no, trust me, I was actually trying to pay attention to that. I was paying attention to his meter the whole entire time. And then he just, like, I baited it one time, and he got kind of good enough to not do it every single time. But Jesus Christ. There we go. Apply setting. I actually know that I have trouble fighting against players that are like that. So in other words, if you are very good at really mixing up your timing in terms of when you're going to do wake up uppercuts and when you're not going to do wake up uppercuts, like it, it kills me because I get baited into that game. I try to play that game too much instead of just trying to not get affected by it essentially. And that's actually a, a big weakness for me is that I have to understand how to fight something like that, either by not going into it or maybe trying to go for more cross-ups so you don't have to worry about that kind of thing. But it's just one of those things that I have trouble playing against when people are really, really good at deciding when to flash kick and when not to flash kick. Oh, thank you, Jay Johnson. So yeah, against a Guile player like that, I'm definitely going to have a lot of problems just because you see how I kind of got baited in that whole thing and then standing still, and then he just walked up and threw me. So it was just like I got caught up in that wake-up flash kick game. What the hell? That moved so far forward? Got 
that was supposed to be a view reversal. I thought I could make it under that. I guess you can't make it under that. It's like he pulls himself back a little bit. Oh my god. Get some damage, dude. Okay. That that honestly right there is inexperience on my part against that that Bushin flip for Zeku. I feel like certain things are happening but they're not. And I'm trying to walk under it every time because of my natural tendency to want to walk under anything that goes airborne. So as soon as it goes airborne, I try to walk forward, but then that kick like pulls him back forward. It's really interesting that I can't make it under him. So it's very interesting. So what I just need to do is when I see that go up, I need to go for some light uppercuts instead. Have to go for some light uppercuts instead. And I gotta stop missing my dive kicks. It's interesting that it goes for that kick. Is that a sweep or is that. This guy uses his uh, meter for V reversals all the time. Okay. He uses his meter for V reversals a lot, so that's something I gotta get ready for. So, like, if I he, I make him block a jump attack, I should be ready to throw if he has the meter built up. God, that move goes so far forward. Yeah, it is a sweep. It is kind of cool. You win. <laughs> Where is your weekly Boats and Joes? Or I should say, like, which weekly is it? spin knuckling after he whiffs those is because he's so negative see and see how that kind of traded right there I'm trying to use it as a way to get in okay now you're just hitting buttons a lot forget that that exists I didn't do that! Oh, I did 
didn't know what was happening. Probably a mistake, to be honest with you. That's why I whipped that uppercut. I was just trying to build the meter. He likes to whip that from a screen away. So I was like, there's hella delay on that. So I'm just gonna super it in reaction. So well, you saw me, I was one pixel away from getting the super. So I was like, all right, I'm just gonna get the super here. Oh shit! I'm just trying to build up my beat. Oh damn right, he killed himself. He killed himself. Why do I do that? Ah oh, god, I gotta. I don't know how to break that reaction too, which is the weirdest part. And this camera is hella delayed still. Ugh. Why is this camera so bad? I don't know why my reaction is built in like that. I don't know why I just have this thing where when people jump, I want to walk under them in Street Fighter. In other games, I don't even do it that badly, but for some reason, it just happens to me here. Yeah, it's he wanted. It was a very kinetic Zeku. He wanted to keep doing stuff. He wanted to keep active, and I think that's probably why that guy chose Zeku, is because Zeku kind of allows him that, right? But in the end, it. Again, you know, it was one of those situations where that's kind of what I read, right? So when I was one pixel away from a meter, I went a screen away, gave myself the super here. He didn't notice that, and he just wants to be kinetic. So I took advantage of that with the full screen super. And that's another one of those situations where you kind of read the opponent, right? I probably wouldn't have risked going for this uppercut across the screen if I hadn't noticed that's how he was playing already. Uh, I do not play anything on PC. No, I do not. I do not. Oh no, Naughty Senpai. It has been something that has been plaguing me for four This is the fourth year that it's been plaguing me that I try to walk under people in Street Fighter. And the problem is, is because I get rewarded by it a lot. I try to walk under people and I get the low strong, low strong on them so often when they land. And so I get rewarded by walk under a lot. That's the hard part, is that it's actually rewarding me. So the reaction is paying off a lot of the time. And that's a problem. I have to, I have to separate the reward from the risk, basically. I'm not a PS4 fanboy, I'm a console fanboy. I'm a console fanboy. It's a difference in that. I think uh, PS4, I think the Switch is the best console right now. This is a tough character for me to fight again. Out of there. Ugh. Wow, I 
did not whiff punish that. What the hell? How did my jump attack miss? Wow, she can recover in time off of that, huh? Okay, that was interesting. God, it's like you almost always just have to wait for the person to dash forward. Like that's what you're always kind of waiting for because people want to dash forward a lot. It's what people have been learning to try to do to, to handle these kind of situations. See, I got rewarded for walking under again. Okay, this person uh, goes for crouching medium kick a lot in the footsies range. Ow! Whoops, back roll, and I went for quick rise timing. Wow, lots of overheads too. combo that I did but it works I don't know why I didn't just do low strong drill whatever but you know what it works low strong activate super as the combo it's a very weird thing to try to do there but I'm trying to take advantage of that crouching medium kick panic button that he has when I get close that's how I'm getting the counter hit light punch into the crouching medium punch drill so basically uh, since he has a quick trigger reaction after he blocks my mediums, I take a very small step and then I go and do that Like that. So I try to do a very small step Whoops Wow dash after that huh? Lots of overheads from her like I said See there it was Oh, I was waiting for that forward dash, too. What the hell was that? That's not gonna work. Oh, shit! I forgot about that. Miss my super okay. Okay, this person's anti air reactions are really good to dive kick, and I missed my super on the drill. I was trying to super and then basically take that round. But this guy's anti air reactions are really strong. Now I'm playing this absolutely incorrectly here. I did not jump! Hello? Okay, throw tecker as well. So because it's a throw tecker, I should be able to shimmy this person as well. Ow! Oh, Jesus! Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, I was going a little too weirdly aggressive instead of trying to play very patient. I got a little too aggressive at that point in time. Because I really wanted to get in there and see if I could try to apply that standing light punch mix up again. But unfortunately, her anti-airs were too strong and so I have to stop jumping. Or I can do a full jump when I'm close up because she kept doing it at an early timing. So if I can get close enough to her, I can actually get the full jump in.
then that always happens, which drives me nuts. You really love your overheads. Oh dang, she did it late that time. Wow. Oh Jesus. Of course, of course, I forgot. She has the counter. She has the counter. All right, and I'm not shimming her. She's teching a lot, so I need to actually shimmy her is what I need to do. shimming with that button. I did it again. I threw myself into her range. I threw myself. I'm kidding. Standing fierce to shimmy, but she's throwing late enough that I Extend my hurt box, my, my throw box into her range. I just have to wait. Oh God, that button made her move forward. Oh, too many overheads, too many overheads. Too many overheads on this guy's part. It wasn't worth the risk in that situation. A little bit of unfamiliarity against this character. Let's actually do some training with this character, shall we? Nice, I like that. Right, so let's do this here. Um, see, this is what I wish would work. I wish there needs to be an option in trading mode where you could switch which character is your primary character, like just like a switch, like boom. Now all of a sudden the dummy settings apply to the other character. This is plus two. So if I block this, I just have to hold that. That's very straightforward. That's like most standing light punches. This is plus two as well. So that's really good. So blocking standing light kick is very, very uh, dangerous. Low jab is uh, plus one for her. Okay. So this is still dangerous. Not quite as dangerous, but still dangerous. And then this one is plus one. Did I get that wrong on the standing light kick? Did I read them backwards? Yeah, she's minus two. Okay, so if I block standing light kick, it's my turn. Yeah, okay, so if I block standing light kick, it's my turn, okay. And then if I block standing medium punch, she's plus two after this, dang. That's actually pretty good. Whoops.
Whoops. Go. Alright, so back to playback settings. Off, on. So this one I'm plus two. So if I block the knee, it is my turn. Or at least if I block the knee, I can get the hell out of there. Like that, right? Okay. And then, um, so she's plus two after that. So that's dangerous right there. So this is the danger button here. So if you block this, that's a danger button. This one should be plus one. Yep, plus one. This is, I'm plus four, okay. So if I was close enough, I could punish it, but obviously, um, wow. That move automatically pushes you out of range of getting punished. That's pretty amazing, actually. That's really good because of the way she leans back. Because of the way that she leans back, she automatically puts herself outside of range of any of most characters three frame or four frame punishes. Uh, DPEX is is four, is a three frame startup. So because she's minus two, I cannot actually uppercut it. So the super is like three or four frames. It's like ridiculously fast. So that I could probably. Oh my God, Alex, the character that I cannot fight. The character that I am scared to death of for some reason because I feel like every time he hits you, you're going to lose this gigantic chunk of life. And so I'm scared to approach and try to fight. The EX Spiral Arrow is too slow. There's too much startup on that. All right, so how do I fight Alex? Once I knock him down, go at him. But just be careful of the footsie buttons that he has. Oh god! Back roll. Oh no, that's plus three! Unfortunately, this connection is not very stable. I didn't think that was going to hit. It's so hard to play footsies like this. It's so hard to play footsies like this. Yeah, you're hearing multiple button presses. You're hearing about multiple button presses. God, this roll get up animation is weird. Good God. Final round. Five. It's so hard for me to play footsies properly against this kind of a of this kind of a Okay, he's shimmyable, he's shimmyable. Oops. But how do I shimmy someone in this net code? Oh, oh my god. See? <laughs> this is what happens when I fight against Alex's. 
Like I always get hit on my wake up because I'm so terrified of command throws. I cannot be Alex, dude. I cannot be Alex. You see right there? I did lose half my life because I made one mistake. I can't fight Alex's, dude. There's just like no hope. There's like no hope for me fighting against Alex. <sighs> Uh, Mega Ham? No, I can't, actually. I'm absolutely unable to play Mega Ham. That doesn't, that like, doesn't register on my strategy level. Uh, it is not something that I've ever been able, capable of doing is going ham. Minus, uh, minus four. That's weird that it goes minus four, then minus two. What does that mean? Hmm. I don't know what it is about Alex, but whenever he knocks me down, I freak out. And, I mean, I have that same problem against Mika, but I can keep Mika out better than I can keep Alex. Because I feel like Alex can actually fight Cammy on the footsies. Whereas with Mika, I can keep her out a little bit um, because Cammy's footsies are vastly superior to Mika's. But when I fight against an Alex and I can't beat him on footsies and then they knock me down once, I'm like so freaked out about it. Uh, when was the last time I played a game with actually good netcode? Like, honestly, never. I can't remember the last time I've actually played a fighting game with good netcode. Even when I played Injustice 2, my netcode experience on Injustice 2 was pretty bad. I had a lot of trash experience, net, net, trash netcode experience on Injustice 2. Uh, I played Darkstalkers Resurrection Online once, like one time. I have Fios, dude. Like, I'm sitting here with Fios on my... Oh, I thought that was a jump. I tried to walk under. What a surprise. Whoops, I didn't even mean to do that. Oh, back roll. Oh, he threw? Oh boy! Okay, that time I was just trying to low strong him when he landed, but because he threw the air fireball, he delayed his air landing just a tiny bit, and I ended up, uh, he ended up landing and being able to uppercut in between. Okay, I gotta stop jumping. susceptible to throws for sure I missed my instant overhead uh, I do not play on Wi-Fi no I do not
not play on Wi-Fi. I actually do play wired on my PS4. You win. Uh, I live in West LA, Santa Monica ever, area. So basically, Greater Los Angeles area is the best way to say it. Round one. Fight. Ow! That time I was trying to punish it, I just failed too slow. That's like that guy on flash kick guy. I'm gonna get hit by that every single time, so it's all good. input he ate my input I tried to throw but he did that too early and it actually ate my input I mean a lot of California is greater Los Angeles to be fair whoops I thought I was on the other side Jesus this guy's anti-air is on point. I tried to punish it again, but I missed. God damn it, where's my EX uppercut? at the same time. <sighs> that towards heavy punch, that towards heavy punch, I'm looking for it and I'm trying to punish it with the low strong. But the problem is I'm so late on my reaction all the time. I'm using I'm using a Victrix. I'm using a Victrix. Jesus, that is fast. Testing this guy's anti air. This guy's anti air is really on point, and I'm jumping at him way too much. I'm giving him so much free damage off of that. I got 
crush counter. So I'm not sure what the hell button I hit. I was dead. I was actually dead, to be honest with you, because he had the super on me, but he didn't land it for some reason. Ow. Why is this demon flip move so annoying to deal with? Duh, the back roll. The back roll again. I had jumped backwards. There was nothing I could do at that point in time. As soon as I went in the air, I was dead. I wasn't sure what to do because I jumped backwards and I was like, fuck, there's nothing I can do. Ugh. I don't think he was even trying to catch my back jump. I think he was just going to try to chip me with an empty jump into super. I think he was just trying to kill me that way. Because if I had jumped forward, I would have been able just to clear the whole entire thing. And there's no reason to jump backwards in that situation there. Yeah, in those kind of situations, in that game, I really, really wanted to land another shimmy. And so I really wanted to get close up to him to shimmy him. But the problem is, I was too obsessed with it and I wasn't playing proper footsies anymore. And also, Demon Flip is just a stupid move, but we don't need to get into that because Demon everybody knows that Demon Flip is a stupid move. It's like the move that has every option you need built into it. It's the Swiss Army Knife of moves. Automatic mix-up built into one move. There it is. <laughs> the Blaze Blue Lore? <laughs> Everybody is Noel and people have gotten back in time and that's about it. There's a time loop. Someone's trying to break the time loop, but that's it. Apparently nobody wants to play right now. Did I? I can't even remember talking about the Metal Gear Solid 4. All I remember is in 5, there was, you wake up in a hospital, all this stuff goes crazy, some crazy fire monster chases you all over the place, there's a giant whale in the sky! And then uh, you're in this desert and you do this desert thing forever and all of the plot disappears. That's all I know about Metal Gear Solid V. Uh, thank you, Uma. Thank you. <laughs> I can't remember it now. All right, Birdie. So Birdie is a tricky one because Birdie is another one of those characters that can play footsies with Cammy well, which makes it hard for me. So let's see how I can do this here, because that button right there is the button of death. And then, of course, the banana is a problem. And then Birdie has really good anti-airs. Whoops, where is my dive kick? Why is my dive kick input so garbage? Wow. Wow.
I forget. Is that back to being first frame armor again? I forgot if it's back to first frame armor or not. Gonna do that, huh? I forget, is the armor? Is that, I forget, is it first frame armor right now? They've changed it so many times, it's hard for me to remember. I forget if it's, uh, oh God, if it's armor on first frame or not. Apparently nobody in the chat remembers either. Let's see if I can find out. Round one. Fight. Oh, she grew. So he's shimmyable then. Nope, never mind. Ow, 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 it's gonna hurt! Ay, ay, ay! Oh, where's my super? Oh, thank you. I didn't have to spend any of my meter that way. I was just going to low fierce into super to chip him to death. I fierced myself into his throw range again. All right, I've got to stop using fierce as a shimmy button. Really, honestly, I just need to start using a different button. Oh my god, he threw so fast! Oh. Dude, this guy counter throw, he doesn't even delay tech. He texts like instantaneously. So I've got to remember that. I got to remember when I shimmy this guy to do that. Oh shit. Dead? I'm dead. Jesus. Fuck. 
Frame one armor, there you go. Thank you, thank you. So I do have to be careful of that wake up EX armor. We do not have the reactions to EX Dolphin Die. Do not have reactions to EX Dolphin Die to get away from that. Oh and again, you can see a very clear pattern between all the weeks that I play this game. It's whenever I have to fight a character that I can't footsie with on the ground, I have so much problem fighting them because not only do I have trouble footsing them on the ground, but I also can't anti-air them as a result. Because I'm so concentrated on the ground game that... See, I have no reaction to, to anti-air them when I'm trying to play this ground game with people. So I have a lot of problems when I fight against characters that can keep me out on the normals because I feel like that's where my advantage with Kami lies so much that when I can't take advantage of that, ow! Wow, that still didn't recover in time. Punishable. And it's hard to whiff punish Birdie, yeah. Ow! Oh, gee, I just walked into that. Oh, God. Help. Far. Ouch! I got killed by the Mena RD! I got killed by the Mena RD! Oh! No! Oh, I got killed by the Mena RD. Oh, oh Jesus. Yeah, I mean, honestly, I have problems in this when I can't, that's why Alex gives me problems, is because I can't out footsie them. As soon as I fight a character that I can't out footsie, that's like my biggest problem. So Birdie's buttons are super long range, super far, and I'm not sure how to approach him at that point because my, ju my jump timing is not very good. My jump timing is very obvious. So I'm not good at playing the footsie game against somebody when their button outranges me. So I just need to learn how to do that a little better. And that is definitely my weakness right there. Because, you know, I'm so used to like super turbo cami where I can just sit here and walk up and do this with no repercussion and have like amazing, amazing walk speed. Uh, that just doesn't exist in this game.
So I really just need to like play a match against like good Birdie or a good Alex and really see if I can try to figure out and learn like what I can do in footsies. To the oh, what's up, Dinohongo Gamer? Shout out to the raid. I need to figure out how to. I need to figure out how to play footsies against those characters. I need to figure out like what you're supposed to do uh, with against birdies and Alex's in the footsie game. That's that's definitely my biggest weakness right there. And that birdie was was smart too because after a while he realized that. He didn't want to engage in me, you know what I mean? He didn't want to get up close or put him in a position where he could get knocked down and then I would have that kind of pressure all of a sudden out of nowhere. And then plus another thing is very early on when he blocked this and would throw right away and didn't have the delay, that kind of threw me off a little bit as well because then I kept trying to change the way I was shimmying him, the way that I was like trying to play against him. I was so focused on that quick throw that every time I got in, I was trying to bait that and he wouldn't do it again. And so that was a mistake for me. So, see, that's just the thing, CJ Grayson. That's why I said at the beginning of this stream and the last stream, I want to improve my whiff punishing because I can't whiff punish Bert, uh, Alex at all. Oh, well, speaking of, I can't whiff punish this character at all. Like, I was just, but that has nothing to do with Alex. That has all to do with me because I'm just terrible at uh, with punishing in general. I've, this is why I have problems in Tekken as well. In Tekken, I can't with punish anybody. Like with punishing has just not been a very strong part of my game. And uh, that's what makes it really, really hard for me. I have to learn how to with punish better. Okay, he's jumping at me a lot. I gotta get used to this. Oh, God. Shit, I forgot about that. Wait, why did he do nothing? Oh shit, that's right. Forgot about that. I could have killed him if I had just gone for an uppercut instead of the jab reset. That is 100% my fault. That is 100% my fault. I, I killed myself on that one, totally. Trying to, that's not the combo I'm supposed to do. I was supposed to do into EX Hooligan Dive Kick into Uppercut. I was doing the stupid training mode shit that I was doing. That was crazy. I thought I was crossing up as well. Oh, Jesus. Please somebody teach me how to fight this character. Please somebody teach me how to fight this character. I cannot fight this character because I'm so scared of him. Why am I so scared of this character? Why am I so scared of this character? Why am I so terrified of Alex? Why do I have no ability to fight this character? 
Oh, man. I think I am just scared of characters with command grabs. I don't know what it is, but I cannot fight Alex at all. trouble with G's, but I can fight G's a little bit better because I'm not as scared against G for some reason. I don't know what it is about Alex that just terrifies me. I really, really hate the Tord's heavy punch. I think that's one of the things that bothers me too, is that Tord's heavy punch destroys me because when I block it, you're still minus and like I hate that I was right that I blocked, but I'm still in the RPS. And like, that just makes me feel very uncomfortable. Yeah, I talked about it before. I need to have like some practice against Alex so I just stop being so scared of him. But like, I kill myself against him because I think I destroy myself because I just jump backwards a lot and I try to backdash because I'm so scared of everything that he's doing. Slide, Dalsum. Dalsum play. Yeah, he's negative even on hit. this guy slide so much yeah right Mika impact no it's definitely a mental block it's definitely a mental block against Alex I have a mental block against him that I feel like everything he does kills me and I just have to realize if I take the command throw he doesn't get Oki off of it I let all the Alexes get away with never having to do command throw because I'm just terrified of command throw so badly that I'm always trying to run away from the command throw. Round one. I want to try hooligan throwing him. Oh, okay. I'll design a dojo. Maybe before I quit today, I'll design a dojo. So against Dalsum, if he ever throws that yoga fire, as soon as he throws it, just get the hell away. Don't try to approach him. Just back off and, and then just start over again. You're actually better off doing that. Again, sir, you are minus on a hit, even on a slide. That's 
that's not what I meant to do. I was not expecting that slide that time. Huh. Uh, Kami is minus two off a of forward hard kick, uh, forward heavy kick on block. Yeah, yeah. But I just wanted to hit a button because I wanted to see if the Dalsum was going to be brave enough to try to challenge that or not. So, but I just hit the button. So, yeah, all the slides are negative on hit. So if you ever get hit by a slide, counter, counter, just, just go, just go at him. <laughs> so if you ever get hit by a slide, don't be afraid to try to challenge him, basically. with you. I mean, obviously you don't get the Oki off of the uppercut. That's not going to work. Yeah, but like that's, you don't get the Oki, but you get the damage. Because the problem with doing this like that, and then if they block it, I'm like, I have to drill right away on the counter hit like that. Otherwise I get nothing. I could do but see, at, at further ranges, it doesn't reach. I just want to be able to hit confirm like that. And, uh, oh, God, no. Um, but if I do this, then I can get that as a link and get some damage. So like that, basically. So if I ever do, well, let me make her crouch. Whoops. Oh, okay, okay, so that's the problem right there. Is that on crouching characters, they're wide enough that there might be some misconfirmed ranges on that, so that's not good, that's not good. The stick, this is the stick. I have no engravings on it, though. I should have brought it with me, engraved the Chen Chenzo Dynasty logo on there, but I actually don't have, uh, I actually don't have it in a good vector graphic, to be honest, in vector mode. I need to vectorize my logo. I only have it in Photoshop, so I'm trying to see if, I mean, if there's anybody in the chat that's really good at taking stuff and vectorizing things in, 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 in Photoshop Illustrator, it'd be really, really nice. Uh, I do like the stick a lot. There's definitely a lot of things that I would change on it, and I've told the Victrix guys, and they acknowledge that. They acknowledge that a lot of those things need to ch change, so. Yeah, no, that's definitely true, Spike. So there's, I have talked about that in, in previous uh, uh, Learn to Fights as well, and in a lot of the analysis matches that when I analyze, like uh, when I used to do Mind's Eye and when I did the players fighting each other thing and I analyzed their fight, is you have to be scared of false positives. False positives are the uh, biggest is are one of the big issues when something works but it shouldn't have, but then you think that because it did, that this is a good idea. Oh God. I don't have an EX. That was some cross up, wow. God damn it! What the hell? Neutral jump, badly animated fears? Huh. 
Dude, if Cammy got Oki okay off of Cannon Spike, she'd be so broken. is getting worse as it goes it's getting worse as it goes oh god oh, I'm sad and that's another thing too is that whenever I play a match that even has a little bit of lag like that it makes me get twitchy and footsies gets really really hard to play that way like I know whenever I play in a match with lag like all of a sudden I just can't play footsies because you can't trust your eyes anymore like you're not allowed to trust your eyes on what you're seeing and that makes it super hard glad that doesn't work by the way and that's a very frustrating thing to have to deal with. So in any case, I didn't even really talk about how I was fighting that Sakura. To be honest with you, I've played against so few Sakuras that it's really, really hard for me to verbalize what I'm doing outside of just playing a very normal game. I noticed that I could bully her with the footsies, that particular Sakura, which is why in the corner there was that one point where I was just going kick, 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 punch, kick, punch, kick, dive, kick, kick, punch, kick. I was like just trying to be super aggressive because I noticed I could kind of bully her a little bit. But outside of that, it was just very, very normal. Well, Tetris 99 netcode is good because there's no interaction between the two players and no need for anybody to instantly interact with each other. All of the junk and all of the stuff that you can be sent can happen milliseconds later and it doesn't really affect the gameplay. Round one. Alright, Henry Chow with a Buki. Alright. Okay, you've got anti airs. Oh, sweet, huh? Drill not come out. I'm so confused, but oh my god. Oh, the lean back. I blocked before that kunai came, but the lag wouldn't let me block. Nice K 
cats on the floor. Oh, God. Oh, what the, where did the jump come from? God, that side switch mechanic for Ibuki is like the ultimate online tool. Definitely not what she meant to do at all. Well, that still hit me. Ah, it happened again. Why? Oh, shit. Thought I had that whip punish. It might not have been, I don't know, maybe he was trying to do a B-reversal or something. I don't know. Well, if he did it twice, then okay. Avoid the anti air, and I haven't been able to yet. That was supposed to be a dive kick, but oh well, I'll take it. I was supposed to be a dive kick, and the jump roundhouse hit her out of the air, and I look like a fucking god. And that was not what I was supposed to do. I have never played this on the PC before. Supposedly it does feel better and uh, I should probably try it one of these days. Oh shit. Shit, I thought I was going to the other side. Oh god, impossible to block. Impossible to block! What? That's supposed to be punishable. Kill? No. What's my highest rank? I got to platinum a long time ago, and then I switched characters and lost all my points, and then went all the way back down to ultra silver, trying out a bunch of different characters. I really wish this game was like Street Fighter 4 and had the separate player points and the separate character points. Like, I hate the fact that it's all under one because it makes you not want to play any other character except for your main character, which I think is a terrible thing to encourage in this game because, honestly, you should make sure you're practicing with all your characters, with all the different characters. But the fact that the, the way that the, 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 the online point system works discourages that, I think, is actually very, very badly. I, don't, I mean, I play decent RPS, uh, R RPS Romano. Like, what I would say about myself isn't that I play well, 
I would say that I play good enough. The problem is this game doesn't necessarily suit my own personal style of fighting game that I want to play. And um, I have trouble with that. And also Cammy is absolutely the wrong character for me. I should be playing somebody else, not Cammy. But, the, but she's the character that I learned first and she's the character that I know the most. And I think she's the best character to teach with because she's so straightforward and you can't get away with shenanigans. So it's good for me to use this character to teach, but in the end, I don't think she's the right character for me. I don't actually know who the right character for me is in this game. I still haven't found the character that I feel like really suits me the way that I want to play this game. And uh, I'm, I'm not sure, maybe I should play Alex just so I can oh, figure yeah. out what his weaknesses are. <laughs> All right, Karen, if she uses a lot of V-Skill, I'm in trouble because V-Skill is a hella good button against Cammy because the range on it is so good. Ow, you sweep, okay. Okay, establish the throw. Interesting. Okay, I like that. Rashid would actually probably be... Actually, to be honest with you, Laura might be the right character for me. My problem is that I hate that character so much with a passion that I can't bring myself to use that character. So Karen is another character because she matches Cammy's footsie so well, you can see all of a sudden that I have a really, really bad weakness uh, to, to this. Again, it's the same thing that happened when I fought that Ryu last week who just out footsied me. When I fight against the player who out footsies me, like, I have a really hard time making up for it. And I'm not very good at adjusting my footsies to match. Now, this is a Platinum Karen player, so, you know, obviously the Karen player is very, very good. Yeah, her V skill is way more useful. She has an overhead, which is nice. Oh shit. Oh, that's plus, of course. Confirm! Wow!
come from. I just felt like the player was strong enough that he was going to fall for the shimmy that time. There wasn't really any proof that he was going to. It just There's just something in my heart that I felt like the player was strong enough that I was going to be able to pull that shimmy off on him. So, And then afterwards, I just tried to play as patient as I damn well possibly could. Oh yeah, I've heard about that, but that's just silliness right there. Oh God. Jesus, this guy confirms our crazy. into the throw. I fierced myself into the throw. Why? Why? Why does that fierce have to do that? Why? Jesus! Confirms are on point. This guy's hit confirms are ridiculous. He hit confirmed everything on one on one hit. That was pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. That's actually really fucking good. Especially online that he's able to do that is actually really really strong. So a lot of credit to this Karen player to be able to hit confirm so well like that. It's actually super impressive. Uh, uh, a cord wrap, uh, a touch pad. The cord wrap is fine. It just it interferes with the with the place that you clip the the, the hooks the the strap onto. Also, I don't like this on many joysticks. Same thing with the Quamba Obsidian. The Tremba Obsidian has the same problem. But I don't like all these buttons being the same shape and the same size and the same texture at the same height. I prefer things like the Mad Cats TE2 where the L3 and LR3 buttons are very different sizes. The start and select is somewhere else and everything. I understand for looks purposes they want to make it streamlined, but it's actually terrible for when you want to hit a button to reset training mode without looking at the joystick. That part is actually really, really annoying, so. Oh, what's up, Kakarot? Oh, that was you that I played, huh? Nice. Dude, you're fucking, you can get, you get those one hit, hit confirms online really, really well. I'm actually really, really impressed by that because like, 
Freaking A, dude. It's so hard to hit confirm on the net code, dude. So the fact that you were getting all those hit confirms on single hits was pretty good, dude. That was actually really, really impressive. Wait, what do you mean you dropped 3k LP? Oh, you dropped 3k points at some point in time. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, no, no, no. I mean, like, the fact that you were getting those hit confirms all the time was super good. I can't do stuff like that online because the netcode terrifies me. I'm just gonna walk into that because I thought it was a jump again! to be an uppercut, but you know what? I'm just gonna eat damage instead. I just went over my move. That was supposed to be walk forward throw, not jump throw. Keeps messing up my uppercut code. Huh. Oh, Jesus! He just went for the EX and just went for it. Okay. Dude, I played against an Abigail earlier today that was teleporting everywhere. It was ridiculous. That's always the weird thing is like Round one. Fight. Oh yeah, I'm definitely gonna stream it very soon. I thought I could make it under, but I just couldn't. Huh? Oh my god, you will not stop hitting buttons! Why? This guy will not stop hitting buttons! Wake up EX Demon Flip is a classic in Brazil, huh? Alright, fair enough. Fuck it! Akuma has no health, just damage him! God, this guy, I can't believe he's teching that. Out of here. Out of here. See, that was switching from offense to defense suddenly. That way, you saw me run away, and then all of a sudden I turned around and started hitting medium kick, and he ran into a couple of them. That was switching from defense to offense all of a sudden out of nowhere to catch him off guard because I was running away, and it looked like I was going to run away and be a turtle, and then all of a sudden I switched it around, so... Dude, Demon Flip Slide being plus two was so messed up. I was so glad they made that and towards Heavy Punch being plus was kind of silly. Whoops, I'm just gonna walk into that. Thanks. Where's 
my dive kicks, man. Oh shit. That's me mashing out uppercut right there. Not crouch hard punch, towards heavy punch. Just waking up with jabs all day. Fuck. I thought he was gonna make it under me, but he didn't. He stayed in the front. I didn't do that. God damn it, I lost my V trigger from that. I didn't try to freaking. Ah, okay. Freaking Akuma. That was the problem, is like I was banking on that second V trigger dive kick to get back in, but then I I was crouching and I walked forward and I hit punch to do something and it came out as this. And so then I hit kick and then I lost my V trigger. Oh. <sighs> well, it's not going too well today, CP skills. I keep dying to Alex's and I'm not doing particularly well against crazy uppercut and flash kick players. Actually, I've been doing okay. I've just been hovering around the same amount of points. I actually haven't been gaining any points. I've just been hovering around 6,600 this whole entire time. I've like been winning and losing half each. And again, a lot of my problems, as I mentioned to people, is when I get out footsied by people. So this is a Chun-Li, very high-ranked Chun-Li. So I have a funny feeling that uh, if this Chun-Li has really good footsies, I'm going to have some trouble here. So we'll see. fighting game do I play the most? Right now, Street Fighter V, Tekken, and Soul Calibur, probably. Although I haven't played Soul Calibur recently, which makes me sad. Ow. 
I just walked into that because of James Chen. I just walked into Air Bird Kick because I'm James Chen. Oh, nice. Okay, okay. Uh, not at all, Move Mao. Not at all. Because I barely use Crouch Light Punch anyway. That wasn't a button that I use very often. Whoops! Ay yeah, yeah, really? That wasn't far enough, huh? That wasn't far enough. That standing fierce, I just missed that EX bird kick. GameStop's got trashed before what? Soul Calibur? Wait, what do you mean by GameStop's got trashed because of Soul Calibur? What does that make sense? I don't know why. Well, I picked Cammy because she's the bae. I mean, she's my waifu. And then also, she's really good for teaching. But the problem is, I'm really terrible with this character. Like, I don't feel like this is the right character for me, to be honest with you. But this is who I've gone with, so... Maybe Chun Li. Maybe Chun Li. Honestly, Cami is too honest for me. Like, I need to play someone who has a little bit more gimmicks and stuff like that. I need to play someone a little more shenanigan based. comedy of errors right there. Oh shit. Uh, I wouldn't say Akuma is gimmicky. I would just say Akuma is everything-y. Like he has everything. Oh shit. I'm going to fall for that every time. Oh, Jesus. You did it again. Oh, nice. You lose. Oh. Yeah, I got beat up by EX Bird Kicks. I really honestly didn't think he was going to go for it again that time. I really didn't think he was going to go for it again. I didn't think that that was a desperation moment enough for him to want to try to go for another EX Bird Kick. Well, that was a bad read on my part. So he was, that was just smart for him to do it in a non-desperation situation. And by doing it in a non-desperation situation, that's how he got me because I was not expecting that. So. Was that actually you, Enzo, that was playing? Dude, freaking instant air legs, dude, is gonna kill me 100% of the time. 
In fact, if you actually play against me, if you did instant air legs, like to me, 90% night, like that that's all you did, I would die to that all day. Because I have that problem where when someone's next to me and they go into the air, I try to walk under them every single time. So Akuma's towards heavy punch kills me. Uh, instant air legs kills me. Like anything that goes into the air and then hits right away, I died to super badly. I had that problem when I was fighting against um, uh, Jobin, uh, San Diego Jobin and Samurai Showdown 5. Uh, well, that's the thing is I'm not even thinking. As soon as I see someone go in the air, that's my instant reaction is just to walk forward. It's just to walk forward instantly. And so I just keep dying that way. Why is that the absolute worst anti-fireball move in existence? Why? Why is the stupid spin knuckle so bad at going through fireballs? Oh, God. It drives me nuts. anti-airing again. I'm not anti-airing again. I didn't do that! That was walk up into freaking... I just... Oh my god. Oh my god. Everything is going off the rails all of a sudden. Nothing I want is coming out. God, fucking hell, dude. I did not want that hooligan. There was two uppercuts that I didn't want. I walked forward and did crouching medium kick and I came out with uppercut twice. What the hell? Oh my God. Everything is going completely south. Oh. That's it? Oh my god. Fuck. I didn't mean to hook it. I didn't mean to uppercut. Everything went completely wrong right at the end right there. Oh man. I don't know if he does know. I mean, for, for him, it just looks like I was a scrubby uppercutter, to be honest with you. remember doing a lot of random uh, hooligans, Alan. In a way, I really, really wish they didn't make input, like they didn't make inputs easier. Like I feel like I mess up inputs a lot more these days, you know, I would rather just miss uppercuts from, I would rather miss uppercuts because uppercuts are harder to do than to uppercut by accident because inputs are so, like, are like so easy. <sighs> so 
So yeah, today, like, I've been at a complete standstill. I started this just outside of Ultra Gold, and now I've fallen back into Gold. So, like, I haven't been able to advance at all. My, my gameplay this week has been very, very stagnant. <sighs> Round one. anti-air every time I jump. Oh, okay. He's trying to anti-air every time I jump and he trades with my dive kick every single time. I got hit. because I'm so bad at teching throws. I knew he was gonna throw at the end too because I think he detected that I was susceptible to them. Hmm. This is a laggy stage? I thought this would be one of the less laggy stages. Holy shit! Okay, all right. This is what Boats and Joes meant. Just go ham. This is the cami how I should be playing. I should just be playing like this. God. <laughs> All right, this is exactly how I should be playing Cammy here. Fuck. Hooligans and fucking spin knuckles all over the place. Shit. Oh, man. Things have gone all the way downhill for me today. <sighs> this is like one of the hardest things for me because like I just want to get to platinum 
or like diamond so I can play people who are less hammy than this. I want to play like, like you notice that when I played against Enzo and when I played against uh, Kakura, oh God, uh, the, the Karen player earlier today, like yeah, Kakura, like those fights were super good. Like I want to play those fights, but I can't get there because I have trouble beating ham kind of players. <sighs> it's not different up there, huh? That sucks. <sighs> it still is the worst V skill in my opinion. But God, like. Man, I just want to play like super, super. Yeah, that's the hardest part. I can't be crazy. Like I don't have that ability to be crazy. That's just not in my, in my DNA, right? So let's do it. Fuck it. I don't care. Okay, well the crazy went bad in the end right there. So yep, see, the ham doesn't work. The ham doesn't work for me. And that's like the hardest thing. And, and that's actually, you know, one of the things about Street Fighter V that makes guys like Knuckle Do so strong and Punk so strong is because just like High Fight said, they're so good at controlling the crazy and balancing between controlling the crazy and being crazy at the same time. Like, I don't have the ham built into me, and he just quit. So he doesn't want to play anymore, so. So that's just the thing, is like when I play when I play Street Fighter, I don't have this ability to have the ham in me. Like, the ham doesn't work for me. Right, exactly. Like, I'm not good at that's why, like, in Third Strike, I wanted to play Makoto, but I found out I couldn't play Makoto because I couldn't play Makoto the style that she's meant to be. Makoto is supposed to be a very hard-to-guess character, and you kind of have to go ham with that character, and I can't, which is why I don't think I should be playing Kami because Kami, you kind of do have to go ham. And so, uh, I mean... That doesn't make any sense, Joe. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense that it makes perfect sense and that I'm scientific about everything but and scientific about everything else. What the fuck just happened? The reason why I can't go ham is because uh, I am... Like, I can't quite play crazy enough in the game.
same time, you know, I, it's like, if I'm trying to figure out how to improve at this, it's hard for me to figure out like where exactly I can change my cami game. It's like a weird balance that I've got to figure out when I, when I need to try to go a little bit more crazy and when I need to go a little bit more normal. So my problem is I play so normal with her that I'm not using her effectiveness. The reason why players like Xiao Hai and CJ True and Kazunoko and you know, uh, and all the top Kami players do so well with her is because they do have that ability to kind of go nuts with her. And I, I don't have that ability. So I need to I need to figure out how to mix the two up a little bit. But again, my brain just doesn't work with crazy. So I'm not sure how to play the crazy that I want to play. the biggest garbage ass Yeah, the hardest part at this point is just how do I take the time to learn a new character, you know? It could just be one of those things that I could just play on a Smurf account for a while or something like that. I could just play on a Smurf account for a while and just use another character there. Or I could just play another character here and just get drop all the way down to silver again, you know? Yeah, probably just play the casual mode. Just learn characters that way. Oh, what the hell? That I was not expecting.
One of the tough things about playing in lobbies as well is that whole arcade feel where after you lose, you just kind of have to sit there and wait for the other game, so. Oh yeah, there's a lot of Alex players that spoke to me last time and wanted to help me with the Alex matchup for sure. Uh, but, man, that match, I just psyched myself out so much in that matchup. But yeah, I mean, really? Uh, and and I, I mean this in a completely serious way too. Like, I need to figure out a way to teach myself how to go ham a little bit more. Like, I need to figure out a way to, uh, like, just kind of, like, understand what the ham mindset is and how to kind of think like that and try to just try to figure out how to play a little bit more crazy. Because when you watch me play this game, it's so very repetitive and it's so very logical. And even the way that I'm thinking and the way that I'm teaching about playing this is so very logical. There's very few times where I'm just like, I'm just gonna do this because, or like, you know what, I need to overwhelm the opponent. I'm like really bad at overwhelming opponents because for me, overwhelming opponents is just trying to get in their face and hit strong a bunch of times and stuff like that, as opposed to actually trying to figure out a way to be as confusing as possible. Yeah, playing Alex is just to learn his rhythm and finding out where his weaknesses are and, and just being scared of learning when not to be scared and when to be scared. Bison is a fun ass character. This is the same guy I fought last time, the slide happy Dalsa. sliding this time so I think he kind of learned something a little bit uh, if you want me to do some dojo design sure I mean, if I played some Alex, I would definitely have to go into the lab with him first to figure out what the character does and, uh, and just basically how to play him. I honestly don't know like any of his setups or anything like that. And that, that's probably part of the problem, to be honest with you, that I don't know any of his setups. Teleporting out of the corner doesn't get you all the way across the screen. You can only teleport to the other side right next to the opponent. So you have to find the right moments to teleport. Whoops. 
Okay. I was trying to do a little more ham those few rounds, and that didn't work out as well at all. So. See, that's the thing is when I do try to go ham, it's it's the, all it's it's the it's the advice that Alex Vai gave me. It was just for every two logical things you do, do one illogical thing, and that's like I feel like I gotta I got that's something that I have to learn how to embrace. Basically, that's one of the things that I have to learn how to embrace is trying to play a little crazier. can't go behind them again unless you take half a step forward. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dalsum is supposed to be kind of aggressive right now. He's supposed to be a little aggressive. He has to play a good mix between back and, and offense. So, boy, Zeku again. Is this the same Zeku I played earlier? No, because he was using super nice shirt Zeku. This is not super nice shirt Zeku here. Man. Dalsum can play defensively, but he can actually play uh, defense. He can play aggressive as well. There's like Commander Jesse is like one of the most aggressive Dalsums that I know. He loves being aggressive for our character. Back roll. Yeah, no problem, Bozo Jones. I'd be totally down to help an execution corner for our Eunice combo. Well, I can't recognize his animations at all in terms of what, what he's back rolling or if he's quick rising. recognize uh, Zeku's quick rise or back roll animations yet. <laughs> What's funny about Guile playing aggressive close range is that Guile shouldn't be able to play that aggressive close range. The fact that he can be aggressive and defensive makes him, that's what makes Guile so damn good.
that worked. That's cool. So after he activates that, he's super far away, and then his stand fierce will go over all of your buttons. An ST, it's he can, but it's not super effective. It's not like it is in this game. Whoops. That was just a mess up from me right there. I tried to uppercut in between something and then I just stopped and I just wasn't blocking and I just got hit. After I blocked that neutral jump, I just got hit because I just stopped blocking. Not for any particular reason. I wasn't even really trying anything at that point. I like Sagat in this game, except it's just there's certain matchups that I feel like I want to play him Fireball Sagat, but that just doesn't work. They, like, you're not allowed to play Fireball Sagat. Okay, interesting. That standing heavy punch is a really good button there. Standing heavy punch is really good. I have to watch out for that range and not hit crouching strong at that range. So he's definitely figured out young Zeku is working out better for him than old Zeku was. Oh shit, he went for it. Oh, you know, it's because they, they screwed up the, the URL for it, so it doesn't work the same way. Oh, nice. Every Zeku likes to do that, huh? Ow, he did it, he did it. Nice.
Is that thing? Uh, trying to figure out which thing was the was the alerts. Uh, message two, no, no. Oh no, the alert box should be on. I think it's just because it's it's messed up right now. I don't even know how you create a dojo. Like, where do you actually create a dojo? Is that under a CFN? Oh, I have to go to the, I have to actually go to the CFN website to create that. You don't create the dojo here. You gotta go to a site to initiate. Oh, you have to create it initially online. Uh, you know what, I'll create the dojo <laughs> next time. What I'll actually do then is, I'll probably, let me just uh, feed the cats real quick and then uh, call it for a night for this session of learn to fight. What can we learn from today's session? Mostly just that uh, I probably need to go a little crazier at times. I need to throw in some illogical steps every once in a while. Um, I need to vary up my gameplay. I need to figure out how to, to add more takes to the opponent because the way that I play is entirely too logical, and I think that that's really holding me back at this point in time. Ow, ow, ow. I need to... <laughs> uh, and I can't fight Alex. I need to learn Alex somehow. I need to figure out how to fight Alex. I don't know what it is about that character that I cannot fight. But like every time I fight an Alex, I'll do fine, and then he knocks me down one time, and then I instantly die. And then that's it. I'm te and then that's it. I, that, it's game over for me. I need to figure out why this is. What I, you know what it is? I just need to learn to take the command throw. I think that's just what it is. I just need to learn to take the command throw. Because after the command throw, he's minus four after the forward dash, right? Now he can get the meaty heavy kick, if I'm not mistaken. So if you, you just have to notice if he comes forward. So after the power bomb, beat but the thing about it is if he does that he doesn't get anything anyway right so who cares if he does that so if he does this is he the same after every power bomb plus five oh plus 15 plus 15 plus 15 so he's the same after every single one of them he can do that, but the problem is when he lands that and gets the counter hit, it doesn't lead to anything. 
So that's basically all I need to do when I fight Alex is just let myself get command thrown and just not even worry about it. Because my problem is I, I, I get so scared of everything that I'm always hitting buttons and uh, so that when he knocks me down, I get terrified off of everything and then I just get killed. But here's the question, in the corner, like, oh, so even in the corner he gets nothing, basically, because he bounces so far away, and he can't even get two hits off of that in the corner. Interesting, okay, okay. Or you could neutral jump it. Neutral jump, neutral jump, which one? Yeah, neutral jump is not gonna work out. This this move terrifies me, by the way. I get hit by this move all day. It just hits so goddamn far. Uh, EX spiral out of the corner only if I hit him. Because if I do it on block, right, I mean, like, I should be able to kill her. And then I have to just learn the difference between those animations here, which they're pretty, I mean, one flip, so. Right, he gets nothing off of that. actually makes me very, very sad that they didn't give him the close-up knee. Like, that's just such a staple move for Alex, to not have the, the close-up knee. Feels like such a, like, it feels like a waste not having it, to be honest with you. Dude, I'm the same way, usable fiber. That's why I'm sitting here right now, because I'm just trying to figure out why this character terrifies me so badly but i just have to i just have to take this i have to be willing to take the command throw if i have enough life and not worry about it you know just eat the command just block eat the command throw and then i'm out here the problem is this move scares me too but it's the same thing if i block this move just take the command throw and i'm out of there right because like how much damage does the command throw do Command throw does 190 damage, or the light one is 170 damage, right? And the heavy one has absolutely no range. The light one doesn't really have much range either. So it's just 170 damage, and I just have to be willing to take this to get myself out of the mix-up. EX does hurt a lot, yeah, that's for sure. That's 230 right there. Well, walking back is safe until you get in the corner, right? Then walking back doesn't help you at all. But what are the things that he does that knocks you down anyway? What are the knockdowns that he has? Like, what are the knockdowns that he has that he gets even... Okay, so that's one right there. kick elbow can combo but only off of HP Lariat wait which one are you talking about oh you're talking about like well it depends right it won't whiff if he's close up right it whiffs over see like it, it, it has a better hitbox than it did before if I'm not mistaken it whiffs over here for sure, yeah, but once he's up close, it doesn't whiff right there. Uh, you can combo Lariat into Elbow. We're talking about... Um... I kill her, kill her for I just hope that we get more characters. That's what I want. Um...
Because with Yurian, you just do it as fast. Oh. Okay, you just do it like Yurian then. Just do it as fast as possible and and it just it just holds on. Yeah, it just holds on. Okay, okay. Yeah. Alright, so you just do it like Yurian's, okay. But yeah, so what are the things that I'm getting hit with that's knocking me down? Like after a sweep, forward dash is not real. Yeah, see he's minus one after that. So he's minus one there. So what am I getting hit by that's a knockdown that's causing me so much uh, fear? Is it because I'm jumping at him and I'm just getting, letting myself get hit by that? Because that's real, right? That's not real, but standing medium punch is. Oh, but he can't do that in the middle of the screen, right? He can only do it off of PX. It's only in the corner that he can get in there. There were rumors Ono tweeted something that made it look like maybe normal stomps are minus five, his slashes are minus four. Well, on block, right? But like, if you get hit by this. rewatch some of these matches and figure out where I'm getting knocked down so that I have to be scared of these things. I mean a lot of it might even just be um is that not a combo? That's only a combo on counter hit? Oh okay. That's what he has to do normally, yeah. So um Yeah, I'm trying to get away from power bomb and I die. That's absolutely where I'm dying from and I need to stop that. I need to stop being scared of power bomb. I just have to eat it. I just have to eat it and just that's it. After power bomb, that's the end unless he does something like meaty light like if he does meaty uh That's the only thing he's got. But that doesn't give him anything. That gives him nothing. Right, all you have to be careful of is that. That's all you have to be careful of. Why isn't she getting crush countered? There it is. Then off of that crush counter... What the hell? What does he get after that? Right, if you just block, well, back roll, right, 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 okay, okay. Dash up, crouching heavy, punch into me, that's right, that's right. Or... And he only gets knee if he has meter, right? So he can't even get the knee if he doesn't even have meter. Um... Yeah, he only gets that if he has meter as well. Okay, so that's a thing right there. Oh, that's not, okay. I actually did that too late, okay, so that's not a real thing. 
You just have to delay it a little bit. Yeah, like that. Okay. Well, I just meant that that, that wasn't a real me meaty setup because it's one frame too fast. That's all it is. So like I can actually whiff that if I time it just right. Huh. Well now I'm not whiffing it. What the hell? Yeah, there it was, right there, right there. Yeah, I just meant that that's not a real meaty setup because you could actually do that too fast. You just have to delay it a little bit, that's all. All right, just hold block and your problems are solved. Exactly. So that's all it is. It's just I just have to learn to take the command throw. I don't know why out of all the characters, Alex's power bomb command throw scares me more than like Zangief and stuff like that. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is about Alex that terrified me so much. But that's just something I've got to learn. I've just got to learn, and once I do. It'll be better. It'll be better. So just next time I fight Alex, just don't be scared of power bomb. Just eat power bomb. So it takes a while before it becomes unblockable. So you usually try not to panic when you face this move, basically. That's the problem right there. I'm just terrified of that damage. There's really no, I mean, obviously that's a lot of damage, but uh, take the throw, just take the throw. Uh, my biggest problem with Geef in four was that Geef was a combo character all of a sudden. You had to learn low, short, low, short, low, short, green hand. And like, I thought that was kind of silly. I didn't think that that was the proper thing way for Zangief to play. I think Zangief needs to be a grappler. So I like him better without green hand in this game, so. Oh man, uh, it's really, like I said, it's my biggest problem against Alex is that for some reason I'm just terrified of his command throw more than I should be. For some reason, his command throw scares me more than other command throw characters, and I'm not sure why. Hi, kitty. Hi, kitty. Hey. You want some food, kitty? You want some food? You want some food, kitty? Are you hungry? Are you hungry? Here. Give me a, give me a fist bump. Oh, there you go. Good girl. Good girl. All right. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Let's go, kitty. Ooh. Oh, yeah, the joystick. There was the joystick. actually probably something very important to learn for myself in this game is that I need to learn to, to, to be oh thank you Nutacon thank you I need to learn to be more aggressive with Cami and a little crazier with Cami I need to learn how to uh, throw in a little bit of wildness from time to time I play too logically with this character. It's generally my weakness in a lot of fighting games, to be honest with you, is that I play too logically. And uh, I need a better ability to go ham. I need to learn how to figure out how to go ham 
in a way that's logical. It, it, ham in a way that it's effective as opposed to ineffective, because if I just go ham, 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 that doesn't do me any good. But hi, kitty. Oh, you're doing it too, huh? Good boy. Come here, Jasmine. Come here, Jasmine. Come here, come here. Come here. One more time. Good girl. Good girl. Oh, I'm sorry, Darnell. I'm sorry. I can only imagine at this point. Ugh. Yeah, it's not necessarily playing YOLO. It's just that I have to learn how to mix it up. And I also need to learn, if I'm fighting somebody who out footsies me, I need to figure out how to fight, fight that kind of player as well. I have, I, I, I rely too much on being able to out poke opponents so that when I run into a good birdie or if I run into a good Karen, then I have a lot of trouble uh, breaking the defense or the footsies. My footsies are, are again, it, it all falls under the same thing is that I think my footsies are just too logical. My footsies are too logical. I don't go, I don't, uh, I don't mix it up enough when I'm playing footsies. I also just have to be braver about moving forward as well. That's one of the problems that I, I have a lot of trouble. I have to be patient enough to walk someone towards the corner when I'm playing footsies with somebody. I have to be patient enough to play like K-Brad and not hit any buttons and just see how that goes. You know, honestly, that's probably one of the biggest things that I don't do enough is that I have the temptation, as does everybody, uh, again, uh, this is a common problem in Street Fighter and a lot of fighting games. Is I feel like I have to hit a button eventually as opposed to just playing good movement and walking. So when I'm fighting against people, I, I just have to walk at them and just see how they react. Be willing to walk and block and walk and block and walk and block a bunch of times. I was having that problem in Tekken as well and that I would run into people's moves or just have my moves with when I'm playing neutral, when I'm playing footsies, my problem is I'm too scared to just kind of walk around and not hit buttons. So I think that's an important goal to learn for next time, uh, for next week's Learn to Fight session, is just learn to play calmer. Learn to play with less buttons. Learn to play more, uh, just, just taking my time to evaluate the opponent as opposed to constantly trying to go in there and seeing how I can beat them with my buttons. I think that's just what it comes down to. Uh, the dive kick is eh. The dive kick was, I was actually using it quite a bit today, but it just wasn't working out the way that I wanted it to. I don't think the dive kick is necessarily the right answer either, but... Nathan, come here. Nathan, come here. Come here, Nathan, come on. Come on, Nathan. Come here, Nathan. Come here, Nathan. Come here, Nathan. Oh, come on, baby boy. Oh. Come here. You get your treats this way. Well, Enzo, you are also using Chun-Li. I think that makes it a little bit harder. When I was playing against like Ibuki, 
her back medium punch was beating it. And then when I was playing against an Akuma, his back heavy punch, maybe Chun-Li just doesn't have that proper button because the light kick, which is a good anti-air, has so few active frames that after it misses, you get beat up by the dive kick. I think the dive kick is just more effective against a Chun-Li than it is against some of the other characters that have more active frames for anti-air. So in a weird way, I'm falling victim to the problem that a lot of people fall victim to when they play fighting games, in that I'm playing too logical. Uh, I'm playing too logical. In a way, I'm not going ham enough, and in a way, I'm going a little too ham sometimes. And too, by too ham means I'm trying to hit buttons so much. <clears throat> so what I really need to do is I need to go to the polar opposites. I need to go to the polar opposites. So basically in the wide spectrum of fighting game play, I'm playing right here. I'm playing right here, but I need to move to the edges a little bit more. I need how to learn how to play without going as crazy, and I need to learn how to play by going a little crazier. But right now I'm playing too much in the center. I'm playing too much in the middle. So I need to adjust my game a little bit so that I can be less predictable and then also be more patient at the same time. Uh, very soon, Tally, actually. I was definitely going to play some more Tekken again this week. Uh, for sure, I'm going to get some more Tekken in there. And I'm going to try to get some uh, Soul Calibur in there as well. And some Unist. And maybe some Samurai Showdown 2 or 5 if I get a chance. So, And I've got some Tetris to get in there. Boy, man. Whoever thought that having too many games is true. God damn, Jasmine's fast. Uh, but yeah, too many games to stream. <laughs> too many games to stream. So, But I might play some Tetris later tonight. So I'm probably going to grab some food real quick. And then uh, I'll probably stream some Tetris 99 in just a bit. So um, you can expect that. I'm trying to figure out how to block this. There we go. So I'll probably play some Tetris later tonight. So I'll play some Tetris 99 so you guys can watch that again. So... Uh, but again, yeah, guys, if you appreciate this content, if you guys appreciate this, I mean, it's hard because I know a lot of the guys that's in this chat already do subscribe to me, and I know a lot of people here already do support me. Um, but, I mean, you can see right here if I go to this screen over here. I'm currently at 80 subscribers. Whoops. I'm at 80 subscribers. Five of them just came today as gift uh, subs from Boats and Joes. But, you know... More subs would be really appreciated. More content, you know, more more donations and that kind of stuff would be really uh, uh, appreciated. So, you know, that kind of stuff definitely helps me keep up the streaming stuff. I've been trying to stream more. I know it's been harder because I've been traveling to Evo Japan a lot, but I have been streaming. But it's interesting because I feel like streaming educational content doesn't get you the subscriptions in a weird way. Like I feel like I feel like the the way to get subs properly on Twitch is you have to be an expert of the game that you're playing. So it feels like maybe Tetris is the key for me. But you know, um playing fighting games hasn't really, you know, uh uh led to a lot of that. It's very interesting. I'm not sure if it's different for some other people. I know obviously for guys like uh for smug and, and 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 such, you know, it has worked out. So it's very weird. It's a very weird situation. So I've got to figure out how to how to make it work a little bit. And also, honestly, I'm terrible at marketing myself. I'm terrible at figuring out what to how to make it work. So, um, any case. Uh, I'm going to go take a break. I'm going to go grab some food. So I will be back later, guys. Let me run some ads. And if you guys uh, want to stick around to get me some esports pennies, will be much appreciated. So I will talk to you guys later. Have a good night. And I'll let you know in the chat when the ads are done. So peace out. <laughs>